Hi, I'm just testing, finally getting around to testing the AVIO uh, 4K from Epifan video, which they kindly uh, sent me in the mailbag made in Canada. Hi to all my uh, Canadian viewers. This is like a, a 400 odd dollar uh, 4K USB 3 port uh, capture device, and I've done a tear down of this and it's very nicely uh, built and designed you could run over this with a tank and I think it would survive it's a very nice bit of kit but I've only got around to just resetting up my uh, live uh, capture bench. I'm actually capturing this with my uh, Togano uh, microscope, which you've uh, no doubt seen before, and also um, I'm using XSplit to actually uh, record this in, at 60 frames per second. Now, I've actually had my uh, Ava Media uh, capture card before, which is only capable of capturing uh, 30 frames per second, but my Togano microscope can output 60 frames per second. So I thought that'd give, you know, much if I can capture it, hey, why not? The Togano microscope is capable of that 60 frames per second. So what I'm doing now is actually capturing this on my um, a dumpster PC, which I uh, found, which was uh, is showing about 22% uh, CPU usage as a Core i7-950 running at 3.2 gig, and I've got a HT, HD Radeon 7800 series uh, board, and it's only showing 15% percent so I'm capturing 60 it's showing that I am capturing 60 frames per second to my uh, solid state um, hard drive no worries whatsoever so what I'm going to do is just get a board in here and give it a little wiggle around like that because that should show us uh, the you know the 60 frames per second capability when you start wiggling stuff let's zoom right in here and move those around in a circle like that just slowly and then give it a nice wiggle and you should be able to really see that this was is capturing in 60 frames per second it should be very smooth i'll uh, repeat this test i'll have another video which i'll upload as well um, which is exactly the same hardware but i'll capture in 30 frames per second uh, with X split, so it's basically it's capturing it should be capturing 60 frames per second I'm hoping and for those curious about the audio. I'm using a little Samson uh, go mic um, Haven't bothered to set the audio level So I'm not sure what it's like, but that's about 30 centimeters away from me and this will allow me to uh, capture some really nice smooth footage i know a lot of people say why bother with the high frame rate but for um technical stuff especially if it's moving around if you're like pointing out things and stuff like that then it, it really is much uh smoother so and my Togano microscope is capable of outputting 60 frames per second so why the hell not capture it look at that i love the zoom level on the Togano. It's just beautiful, and that's with like a 30 centimeter working distance. Um, that's it's just absolutely incredible. Anyway, <laughs> it looks like it's working 60 frames per second capture um, it, it through USB 3 uh, because it's doing all the hardware encoding inside here, the hardware uh, capture and uh, everything's being done inside here and then stream all the grunt work is being done here and then it's stream but it's streaming full hd at 60 frames per second i don't know if it can do 4k at 60 frames per second in fact i don't think it can no no it drops down to 20 frames per second at 4 K with a 422 color space, but a 420 color space, it can do 30 frames per second at uh, 4K UHD, which is 3840 by 2160. I'm just looking at the web page, which I'll link in down below. So the specs are very, very impressive for this thing, and it seems to be working a treat on this uh, relatively old uh, Core i7-950, uh, which is still a half reasonable machine, um, and only 28% CPU usage. So that's why um, this thing is, you know, that's why it's such a low CPU usage, because it's all inside here. But hey, XSplit, uh, which I'm using to, uh, which I use to screen capture and do live streaming and all that sort of stuff. I know there's a lot of fans out there of open broadcaster software. It's basically the same thing. Um, I just like XSplit uh, better. And anyway, that's a 60 frames per second test. So there you go. I will get exactly the same footage 
upload it on my second channel as well and we'll uh, give that a go at 30 frames per second and let me know the difference. Anyway, thanks. Catch you next time.